Guys, Rainbow Six Siege is a shooter with a heavy emphasis on tactical gameplay, so it's perhaps no surprise that the attacking side often has to be pretty methodical with their game plan most of the time. The aggression for Giannis finally working against him. Mr. Boss is ready to play the angle and get the kill. Uh, smooth kills from both teams, mostly G2 though, as Kanto gets two, Fabian gets another. Enemy will fight back though with two of his own, running out wild outside of the front door. Fabian is down and the round is one for Penta. What, what? did we just witness? That's why this week we're counting down the top 10 rushes in Rainbow Six Siege. Now guys, when we say a rush, we're not talking about mid-round executes like you're seeing here. We're talking about plays where the objective is overrun in less than a minute. So let's see some of the fastest gameplay R6 has to offer with the top 10 rushes in Rainbow Six Siege. Starting our list off at number 10 is G2 Esports, who showed supremacy, no respect, during their Pro League match. In a game that saw a Tachanka pick, an interrogation, and multiple spawn peaks, the French squad were clearly outmatched by G2, even with Pingu sidelined. Regardless of uh, how G2 are playing, such a struggle for supremacy right now. And to close out this meme fest of a game, G2 decided to barge in with no less than three shield operators. And though they may have been delayed by a few traps, the rush was well and truly on. Farrell moves in with a ballistic <laughs> shield, and there you go, PMM's the shoes who goes down alive though will refrag and of course it's Fabian down. Goga has walked in and gotten one on a alive. Cantor Ketty with a refrag again onto Anthrax. The shields are right into him and he can't do anything against it. Tactis will go down. Goga with a finisher on the Monty and K6 will go out of the round. Sure would have thought it. G2 will meme their way to another win and I guess uh, with applause. For at number 9 is a perfectly executed rush where the diffuser was planted 27 seconds into the round. With a Season 9 Pro League spot on the line, Elephant Gang decided it was time to turn up the tempo in their game against Noble Esports. And with no way to rotate back onto the B site, Noble were wiped out without trading a single kill. I'm imagining she's quicker. Speaking of quicker, Neptune's going to be rushing into the site here and will try to deny the, well, push in through the smoke that's been established. The Fuser being implanted by the Maverick of Avian. Neptune's nade will find Yeti. Ghost also takes out Acid with a beautiful one-tap in the main lobby. Crazy will be down. ZZ now, the last defender, and he has to retake in a post-plant. It's not gonna happen. Ghost shuts him down. What is going on, E-Gang? A rush in through delivery, and now a 3-1 lead. Our number 8 rush comes from a Latin America Pro League match, with the defending FaZe Clan quickly out of position as Bootcamp Gaming planted the Diffuser. And with Lion's Gadget online, FaZe had absolutely no chance for a retake. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be something different. The only thing is, no hard destructors, like you said, so... I guess a main lobby rush. Okay, Duds all the way in now. He's in sight. He does not check laundry all the way, so he gets shot from his flank. The prone does not work anymore like that, Duds, but Paula gets a double kill behind the ash. So, Bootcamp have the control that they also wanted thanks to a well-read rush in through the main lobby stairs. M King's gonna get Astro on the flank and the Diffuser is going down. It has finally been planted. Evil Eye still alive, but not able to deny that plant. Mav gonna have to call his phone and Gohan gonna have to stand still in just a second as the EE1D is used. A nice strategy being employed here from Bootcamp and it is all but impossible for FaZe Clan to fight it back. M King and intact, lock it up. An excellent execution from BK. Our number 7 rush brings us back to the Oregon basement, but this time sees Ronin Esports on the offense against Evil Geniuses during Season 7 of NA Pro League. I imagine that this is going to be a very fast round no matter who wins. As Blitz led the charge for Ronin, EG were quickly overrun and wiped out before the diffuser could even be planted. Canadian goes down, and here comes the rush. Ronin already inside of Laundry, forcing these defenders back as the mirror windows go up. Young through the wall will get the kill, though. Cookies reciprocates as he pushes through the main hallway. And Ronin, for the first time, looked like they have a chance and their own dominance in this match. This is a wonderful cheese strat that we see right now, but EG is able to come up. Billboard eliminating Necrox. NBK takes it out. Ronin, what? That took 45 seconds, and that round is over. Leave it to Ronin to just bulldoze inside of the site. They are finally Coming in at number six, we have a rush that took place on day one of the Paris Major. G2 
G2 executed the ideal strategy for Oregon's basement and Mocket Esports found themselves at a numbers disadvantage with the diffuser ticking down. Left all alone, Enemy's Echo stood no chance against G2's four remaining members. Is this the rush? They're gonna rush on down. They're not even gonna take that, uh, that reinforced hatch down at all. They just rush in, they realize the entire site is empty because Mocket are playing this Latin America style. Everybody off the site. That's the first one getting taken down. It's Boy. Now the second one as well. Pengu down onto Alive. 3v2 with the Diffuser already planted. Panic slow on health. He gets one kill on Jonas. But Goga will refrag. Revan is down on the floor up top in the meeting hall and it's all up to enemy and as the mp5 sd will make him hurt moves in through the hallway the ashkin coming in from the back and it's already goga now to finish him off of course fabian having down revan upstairs in the meeting hall more than enough g2 a beautiful bit of bit of play here realize that at number five is a rush that sees Mantis FPS make some questionable decisions regarding their defensive setup during the six invitational APAC qualifier with no Mantis players playing on site, Wonka led the charge on Ash and quickly cleared a path to the objective, giving the attacking team an advantage that the defenders should have had. Oh, this is going to be fast. Here we go. Ooh. They're rushing the site. They know it's clear. They're just going to head right on down, and there's nothing to stop them right now. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wonka just he gets into the site completely uncontested. No way. Mantis. <laughs> Matches. They they were a little bit too confident in their, uh, in their setup there. And there you go. First kill. He's going to be coming out. Wonka does manage to find Sweet Black there on the site now. And now it's up to Mantis to try and retake it. They've locked themselves out. They have oh, no. uh, shot themselves in the foot for sure. Oh, what a brilliant fast push there from Norarengo. Cloud is going to be able to find one. No time finds the next one. And, uh, well, Mantis, they only have one left. Neil Yo is going to be going down. Uh... <laughs> Pretty soon, surely. Cloud does manage to find Oni Chan. But, yep, there we go. Wonka finding Nilio, and that was uh, <laughs> whew, aggressive play styles. You talked about those monkey fists. I mean, <laughs> you know, I barely loaded into the map before we saw what happened there. Bringing the best of both raw firepower and tactical prowess, G2 Esports showed off an excellent rush strat in our number four play against Team Vitality during a Pro League match. At this point, teams were still learning Consulate's new bomb sites, and G2 took full advantage of the site's vertical placement. And, well, we all know what happened next. This is match point. This could be over very, very fast. They're just going to sprint right in and cut through the site, cleave right through Vitality. But it doesn't look like there's anybody on site. They'll get a plant off within 30 <laughs> seconds. Vitality's so committed oh, no. that, no, Vitality, everybody is still alive. The good news is that this is still winnable for Vitality, but they'll retake and all the sites will be trained on all the various members. Bobby and Goga, Pengu, can we see Kanto? And Jonas pick up kills. Just two left here for Vitality. Brit can get the first one for his team, though, as Pengu goes down, watching the Visa flank. The Firebolts in the back hall are going to prevent any potential pushes, but Goga will also take out Brit, leafing Spark in a one versus four, and he has no time. Our number three spot is a rush that sees Fnatic on the attack against a defending evil geniuses in the quarterfinals of Pro League Season 8. Fnatic's Ash and Habana took out three EG players within the first minute as Canadians scrambled back to the site. Unfortunately, he ran into a Claymore along the way, leaving Geo to die in the retake. I think it's a, it's a big difference. Rizraz starting off with the first kill, and then Lusty with the second. It seems to be working out for him. Yeah, they walk in and they switch around to the Bearing 9 as Rizraz will get one more Canadian to trade off finally. He's got utility in hand and two UMPs to try and retake this in up close battles. It's way too complicated. Canadian oh. walking into the Claymore of Aces. And he'll get shot down. Geo coming what? in. He'll find the headshot. But it won't be enough. Fnatic will take two rounds now on the attack. I mean, I don't see them. The runner-up spot on our list goes to a rush that sees Psycho live up to his namesake as he showcases the iconic Ash Rush with absolutely no regard for Fnatic's defenders during the Paris Major. And though it came down to a 1v1 in the end, the Sledge was able to clutch it out in the afterplan. Oh, this is, looks like a rush. It's going to be a rush. Psycho's already in. Kills the Echo. Easy kills. Second kill smokes dies as well. <laughs> so he's a right thing. There's no one to hold this push. 20 seconds, and they're in, but Rizraz will answer back. Do they have complete control? Psycho will get one, Magnet will trade it off, and Magnet with another, the lesion just unprovoked. Diffuser goes down, and Log will watch. 
TZD will get a kill of his own, and Neofighter, last man standing, but he's getting pinged. He knows the marks. He gets the down on the Vogue, and PZD is last man left. Vogue will not be provided an opportunity to be a living drone, as he will get taken out himself, but PZD is there to close it out, and that round was over before it even started. The Zofia ash combo to blow open the castle barricades combined with the EE-1D. Nothing Fnatic could do there at all except wait to die and Nip will regain the lead. Coming in at number one is a rush that not only sees Team Liquid take the top spot on our list, but at Pro League Season 7 as well. Down a game but up on rounds in their series against Penta, Liquid decided to turn it up a notch with a quick execute into the workshop and server room. The castle bought little time for Penta as the Ash took out a wall and three players within the first minute. Against both a Lion and a Dokabi, Eunice was left with no choice but to concede the round. Wait. Looks like a complete downstairs oh push here for bathroom. Team Liquid are going to get a lot more aggressive than expected here. Wow, it the working. like of the smoke. There they we go. Get him. Yes, Nesk will take him out. Liquid are running away with this here. Getting a kill each as they're using the top of the service to their advantage. Finally, Nesk will land the headshot on Kanto as he's very low on health. Yunus playing from the top side is bullet taking down Pengu all on Yunus, and this is working. The rush play from Liquid has been perfected. Penta did not expect this one here as the Diffuser is down <laughs> and Bullet will take down Jonas. What a fantastic bit of execution from that Team Liquid. Was such a beautiful attack execution. They did the drone and they looked into how the defense was set up and said, you know what, this is weak. Okay guys, that's our list for this week. Now you know what to do next. Rush down that like button and the subscribe button and comment in under a minute for more great Rainbow Six Siege content. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.